A couple people on Twitter asked how to do a parallax effect in Flinto. Now, Flinto doesn't allow you to scroll and have the scroll position affect the movement of layers. But you don't have to let that stop you from doing a parallax scroll effect. You can simulate it using swipe gestures. And this is really effective and it's just as useful in helping you to, to see how this effect is going to look, nailing the details, and sharing it with somebody. And it's really fast, so you don't have anything to lose by trying this. And I've got these two screens set up here. And it's got an overlay, which lets the photo show through. And they both have that same thing. And it's the same layer on both, just one is slid up. And then the photo's moved up a little bit extra to simulate the parallax effect. So I'm going to click the draw link button and create a link from this screen over to the other one. And this will be a swipe up transition and I'm going to create a new transition for this. First thing I'm going to do is move this layer on top of the other one. Anytime you have a transition that looks like it takes place within one screen, you're going to want to align the screens together like that. Now I'm going to connect the layers. So I'm going to connect these two overlay layers. And if you haven't seen our tutorial on connected layers, you should really watch that so you understand how this works. And then I'm going to connect the two photos. So now when I toggle the transition, all the connected layers move from their start positions to their end positions. And you can see that the photo moves a little bit quicker than everything else, and that creates the parallax effect. Okay, now I just need to create a link on this screen, and it's going to link back to the other screen using a down swipe. And I'm going to press the B shortcut to actually turn this into a backlink since it's just going back to the previous screen. Now let's open up the preview and I can take a look at this. If I swipe up, you can see the parallax happening there with the photo and then I can swipe back the other way. So it's a really quick way to try this out and get a sense of how this parallax effect is going to work. I can try adjusting the photo to make it move at a different rate and I could add in other effects really easily. Uh, potentially change the easing. Maybe I want that photo to bounce during this effect. Let's see how that would look. So pretty weird, but it's cool that I'm able to try it out so quickly.